Hey guys, Andy Vido from Atree Real Estate. I um, just wanted to bring you through our new property that's coming to the market now. Um, ultimately, we are at, as you can see through the sign there, 72 Northerly Drive in Harrisdale. Um, beautiful sort of location, corner block, um, with sort of parklands directly across the road as well. Um, what I'm going to do before we go into the home, I just want to show you um, down the side of the home, just to give you a sort of an idea and concept of the, the parking and uh, the outside of the home through here. So if we head through sort of just down this side quickly, um, there is a, um, a driveway through here for parking. Um, and as you can see with these beautiful frangipani trees around it um, and, the, and the stones, so really, really low maintenance. And you can imagine once all those frangipani start flowering and that how beautiful that will look. Um, so we'll just run down the side of the home here. Um, we've got all, all bricks, so there's no sort of uh, colour bond fence as such, which is, is really nice through there. Um, and as you can see, there is the double garage through here, um, but they have paved it out sort of quite wide to the side and quite wide to the other side. And as you can see, there is there's a car parked there and you've still got access into your full double garage. So you can probably park three, four cars there and you know a couple more here. So plenty and plenty of parking for cars. Um, also, as you can see through the rooftop there, you have got solar panels as well. Um, so that's pretty much the side of the home. And as you can see, you know, there's a blue metal running through the side there, really low maintenance, easy care. Um, so it's, it's really nice to see, you know, homes that are, are really quite a large size and that, but still, once again, you haven't got the overly, overly uh, too much maintenance from the perspective of gardens and stuff like that, um, but still having that nice garden feel and, and across the road with the garden as well. So we'll head up, obviously, that parking space that I said was here as well. We'll walk through here under the the veranda so you've got this wraparound sort of veranda throughout the front and as you can see there is all down lights through there as well um, and there is just on this side of the home there is another car park or another driveway space as well um, with your entry um, it has got all artificial turf throughout the front and just a little couple of little features um, i think we're on uh, about 685 square meters of land so that is considerably um, you know big size lot of lot of land in, in Harrisdale. Um, and then I think the home is sort of looking around about the, the two, 260, 265 mark of internal living. Um, so once again, decent size home. So let's go and have a look. They've even, actually, before we do, the, even the, the paving that they've done, just a little detail on that that's, that's in that, which is really nice. Um, we'll head in. It's got a little number there, little intercom. Um, basically, as we walk through, you see we've got this quite large entry. Um, it has got glass double doors they are tinted so basically um, throughout that day you can't really see in there um, and also everything is off private from the entrance area so you're really only seeing that entrance space um, as we walk in you can see we've got these really really high quality um, laminated floorboards um, and as I say just you know these are fairly new um, and as I say new ones coming all the time the quality of them is just getting better and better so um, you know really really looks nice skirting boards also throughout um, as you can see, there's a front lounge room through here. Uh, so basically, you've got this front lounge room sitting space uh, with a small fire. Um, and then if you can imagine, the windows sort of wrap around the front there as well, which outlook into the, uh, into the park. So you've got this beautiful outlook, really nice, relaxing feel in this room. Um, and you can see there's quite unique, sort of interesting sort of light features through here. Um, and then there is ceiling speakers as well uh, in the corners. So, um, and I think from here, I, I don't know how you use it, but I think from here you can see the, these little lights that are through here. I think you can sort of pick and change your colour schemes as well. So that, that's quite nice and to, to have that. Um, we'll go through here. As we go to the other side of the entry, you've got your, your study or home office, um, which really, once again, has become really good with a lot of people sort of working from home and stuff like that. This, this room has also, you know, become a bit of a must in, in a lot of cases. Um, so, yeah, so nice double-sided desk there, um, all built-in cupboards, so plenty of storage. You've got a ceiling fan, air conditioning, and also, once again, you've got that nice window that's that's looking out into the park, so quite a relaxed sort of um, nice feeling in my home, yeah. We'll head through this way. Um, I like this little hallway, it's sort of on a little bit of an angle. Um, as you can see, just you know, a few shelves through there. We'll head through this way first, and then we'll come back and go through the main living area. So as we head into to this space, you have got... Um, one of the bedrooms, uh, not, not the master. 
um, but it's one of the bedrooms, one of the minor bedrooms, which you would, you know, as I say, I've sort of seen some bedrooms, which the master's pretty much this. It's got built-in robes through there. Um, once again, this room has got that outlook into that parked area. Ceiling fans, down lights, and air conditioner as well um, throughout. You've also got your bathroom for here. So you've got nice shower space, which is tucked away under there. Um, your heated towel rail, which is actually on. Um, you've got you know, nice mirror. And just little features like this where you see the light coming behind the mirror is a really nice, good size vanity. And you've also got your uh, bath tub there. All the colours are really nice as well, just nice neutral. So you can, if you want, if you like that nice neutral colour, you can bring, you know, your beiges and stuff in. But if you want to liven it up, you can bring any bright colours into this as well. And it would really liven it up. Um, you've also got a powder room. There is a toilet there, which you can see is sort of new, nice, modern looking. Um, and behind there, the, the door, there is also a, um, a sink um, or vanity in there as well, as you can see. Yeah. Um, and as we run through the hallway, you will see there's these little built-in lights in the wall um, that work on a sensor. So in the evening time, you get up, you walk through, those little lights will come on, just give you a bit of a, a walkway to sort of do your way through. Um, all right, so we'll head into this room. So basically another bedroom. Uh, once again, really good size room. Um, they're currently using this as their, their hobby room or um, that sort of thing. But yeah, great, um, great room, great size. We'll head through. And what I'm going to do, you can see the hallway continues on this way, um, which takes us through the other bedrooms of the master, etc. Um, but we're going to head through this way first, which takes us into the main living space. Um, as you can see, there is these double doors, um, beautiful wood frames, uh, glass inserts, really nice. And all that gives you when you're heating up the rooms and stuff like that, if you want to separate, close them off, it still gives you that openness of, of the glass that you can look through. Um, before we head into the kitchen, I'm going to take you into the theatre, which um, is probably one of the great greatest feeling theatres that I've seen in a, in a long time in a home. Um, so, yeah, so they've got, you can see, just on the front here, before we enter the theatre, you've got this ticket box, um, which is really a, a lovely, beautiful feature for... For, um, for a front of a theatre. Um, and then also you can see you're coming soon with your thing really, really nice as well. Um, and you can see some little star, little star lights through there as well. So anyway, we'll, we'll head into the theatre room. Um, as you walk into the theatre room, there is this space here once again with a, a little sort of server or table through there um, set up. And then there's a cupboard here as well, which is basically the, the housing for all the um, electrical, etc. Yeah, <laughs> got this nice little popcorn machine with the um, popcorn as well, so really fitting for the movie theme. Um, and then as we walk into the theatre, you can see they have two things. One, they do have a TV mounted here, which is inserted into the wall. Um, but also from the top helmet here, you'll see there is actually a movie screen that, that will come down and, and set through there. Um, and then as you can see, basically the lighting is, is pretty significant as well. You've got those down lights um, with the feature lighting. Um, you've got two um, theatre chairs sitting at the front that, you know, are, are beautiful. And then you've got this step-up piece as well where you've basically got um, three chairs through here um, with your drink holders and also your um, your thing. And, and really nice sort of, yeah, really, really nice spot to sit and watch a movie. So that's, um, yeah, pretty much the theatre room, um, which, as I said, really nicely set up. Got all the little features and that it feels very luxury. Yeah. All right, so let's um let's head through. Um, this is the um, the main living area. So you can see you've sort of got your dining, um, even the the feature lighting that you can see is all of really you know high quality through there as well. Um, this floor runs right through the whole home, so there's a lot of flooring through there. Um, you can see on the kitchen bench there is a, a breakfast bar on the end, but it has got a lot of feature through there with lights built in as well. Um, and then you see through the back of here, and I really like this panelling as well, gives a nice modern feel, um, it, this uh, feature panelling sort of through the back, and it does have the little sort of light running through the back, which I'm pretty sure you can change the colour of that light as well. So if you change to a red, you might get a red hue through there, or green, you might get a, a green hue through the, the board there. Um, yeah. So before we head outside, we'll take you through to the kitchen, I'll take you through to the master room, and then we'll head out there. Um, kitchen. Huge kitchen, um, all stone bench tops. As you can see, uh, dishwasher built into the uh, cabinetry. 
Um, and once again, as I said in, in many other videos, um, I really love the concept of drawers in a kitchen. I just think it just makes so much more sense than, than your, your cupboards you're trying to reach into the back of. So they've done that really well as well. A um, little bit of feature lighting runs through the bottom, um, as well as these nice big down lights and feature lighting running through there. So there's nothing that they haven't sort of looked at. Like if you look everywhere you look, there's that just that attention to detail. Um, you've got your, this double sink with your... Um, tap there, tap here, and also, you know, quite a bit of a feature for your drain board there as well, which is really nice. Um, as you can see, we've security cameras everywhere, which is great. Um, and then it's also got your range hood and your induction cooktop. So, and with this, this is, this tap here, a really, really good idea, or I think it is anyway. Um, it's only the second house I've ever seen in, um, since I've been selling homes, but, um, it actually fills your water up. So your, your pot, your big pot, if you're filling up, you can fill up from here rather than sort of filling up a big pot from here and you're carrying it over and putting it over there. So I just really think that's a you know, really smart idea. Um, you can see the splashbacks run right through. Um, the colour sort of blends nicely right, right through there. And once again, all nice neutral colours that you can bring any sort of colours into and it's really going to work nicely. Um, I won't go out this door just yet. Um, we'll show you that once we go around. Um, but there is a glass door there as well that you can open straight into your outdoor kitchen area as well. So, but let's head through this way. There is more of the kitchen. So as we turn through here, um, you can see you've got this little sink here and sort of basically like a little scullery serving area, that sort of thing. A few more drawers, cupboards. Yeah, all soft clothes. Beautiful. Uh, pantry. Um, once again, good size pantry. Um, has got some, you know, drawers in there, some couple of wine racks, couple of cupboards underneath, and then um, shelving as well, and some power points for your appliances, toaster, microwave, mixers, whatever you want to put there. So that's really nice as well. Um, I will take you into the garage. Um, sometimes I don't do the garage on the videos because they're just standard double garage, but I think this one is a little bit more interesting. So let's have a look. So come into the garage. Um, as you can see, there is um, solar, which we showed you the panels on the roof there before. Um, inside here as well, there is a storage space or, or attic style thing that you can store your Christmas trees and things you don't use all the time. Um, through here, this space, there is a little bit of a, a workbench, um, cupboards, workspace through there as well. Then you've got this double garage, which is quite a wide sort of garage as well, so plenty of room through here. Um, but this little spot, I, I, actually, before I show you that little spot, which probably we were saying, um, once again, got a couple of cupboards there for storage, so that's all there. Um, yeah, it's this little space, which I, I really love, um, designed for, I suppose, whatever you want to put here, um, but ideally it's two parkings for, for a, maybe a couple of motorbikes or something like that, but I really love what they've done with it. It just sort of gives it a bit of, bit of character and a bit of feature. Um, tell a little story about this window. Um, this window, which is just a glass panel, um, was designed and put in there for, for the owner of the home and his love for motorcycles, um, the master bedroom straight through the other side of that. Um, and while he's in bed, he could watch his motorbikes. So that's uh, just a little story from the owner there. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful little spot. So anyway, that's the garage. Let's head on back through. And while we're talking about the master room, we'll, we'll head, head over that way now. Yep. So we'll head back through there. So you can see, once again, like all just the, the cupboards that have been put in, the shelving that's put in, strip lining through there. The, just the attention to detail everywhere. Um, these doors, as I say, or wood frame and things. And even the light switches, you know, they're all some nice streamlined light switches as well. Um, now, that was the other side of the hallway when we were up the front that I said come straight through. So through there, um, you've basically got the, the laundry. Uh, it was decent sized laundry again. Um, plenty of cupboards there through the laundry. Um, you've got your glass sliding door, which takes you out and obviously to your hanging spaces and stuff like that. Um, nice um, fluoro light inserted into the ceiling as well, so it's not hanging down, which is just a nice clean feature. Um, and once again, you can see these lights running through the hallway, finish right through here at the, the master bedroom. Um, in the master bedroom, we'll go in and I'll give you a bit of a look. The walk-in robe, um, good size walk-in robe. So you can see, once again, I walked right in. You've got um, cupboards, drawers, shelving, um, everything that you'd possibly want in, in here. Um, so that's really good. Uh, you've got your master bedroom uh, once again has uh, you can see like little feature lighting it's got this little um, sort of feature fireplace thing there um, some nice glass doors out to a, 
uh, area that you could go and sit as your private own little area. Um, ceiling fans, featured bedside tables. And I, I love these lights that they're doing now where you don't, they're not actually sitting on your bedside tables. It just gives you that bit more, bit more room to, on, on the surface of your, of your bedside tables with, um, but, and also creating a nice feature. Um, and as I mentioned before, um, that direct window <laughs> straight through to um, the view of the, the motorbikes. <laughs> so that's that there. Um, but, and we'll come through the on, the on suite because it, um, it is quite significant on suite and, and really nice. Um, as you go through, the, the, there is the toilet and um, a, a extra vanity in there. Um, and that also works as a bit of a powder room. So there's two, dual doors on that. Um, but as you come through, the uh, master bedrooms, double, double vanities. There's really nice uh, mirrors with, as you see, the, the lighting feature behind them, cupboards, uh, beautiful bath that you can see there, um, great tapware, um, nice little features like that just finished off. And as I said, everything's just finished off so nicely. You can have a look at those walls and tiles. A um, little bit of a, uh, a cupboard there, I suppose that's a, like a makeup sort of area or that sort of thing away from your vanity. So really nice to have that as well. Um, once again, heated towel rails. Um, the shower uh, through here, once again, is uh, no no door on it. So it's basically, there's no glass door or anything that's deep enough that it doesn't need that. Um, but yeah, you can go in, you can see, um, looks really nice through there as well. A couple of little hanging hooks for your, your towels, etc. Um, the other thing as well, just if you if you head over, look over the bath a little bit there, um, you can shut that down for your privacy, your window there, um, or it does have a roller shutter on it as well. So you can lift that up, um, and get that full natural light through here as well. But you know, um, I think that with that shut, if you're using it in the day, sometimes it's nice to still be able to create that mood lighting, um, and also it does give you a bit of privacy there as well. So come on through, and we'll head back. Um, once again, there was that linen cupboard that was just through there, which we didn't mention. Um, so yeah, we'll head back through this way. Um, and now, um, as I say, that's a lot of house and probably a lot to take in. There's a lot of stuff here and just your eyes go everywhere when you're looking around. Um, but let's head out to the backyard, have a bit of a look what's going on out there. And um, yeah. All right, so as you come out, you, you step out onto this sort of decked area, um, which is quite a big sort of deck space. Um, and then we'll head over to this side firstly. So you've got sort of nice dining space downside, um, sitting area through here. Um, you've got another sort of, you know, nice comfortable sort of sitting area through here. You've got ceiling fans, your, your down lights. Um, also, if you like a bit of golf or just a bit of fun, um, they've got the, the two hole putt putt there as well, which is, is really nice. Um, and once again, you can see that wall's all screened off to the thing, but the, uh, the lattice work there gives you enough privacy in the frangy panties, but you've also in the distance got that um, look out to the park as well, which looks and feels really nice. Um, if we head over to this side, you've basically got your, as I said, that when we're in the kitchen, I mentioned this door, um, and that comes straight out from the kitchen um, into your um, outdoor cooking space. So you've got some burners, your cooktop there, cupboards, etc. plenty of cupboards through here. Um, yeah, some fans, mozzie zapper. Power out here as well, um, and then on the other side of it, obviously you've got your 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 sitting, your bar, or whatever you want. Um, and then behind that, you've basically got your um, portable spa set up, um, all council approved, and everything there with the fencing, etc. Um, yeah, so you've got that there as well. But that's um, there is also on here. So this space, which is just up on the deck here, um, you have got all these. Um, Pull down blind so you can pull down all that side there that side and that side and almost gives you another another room so you could use this space in the winter as well um yeah so that's pretty much the home we sort of run through and i think um had a look at a lot of stuff um there's probably a lot that i have missed as well because there is a lot of detail in this home so um if uh, this looks like something that may suit you and um you want to have a chat about it or find out a little bit more about any other inclusions or, or what's available with home um please reach out let's have a chat look forward to doing that soon